far, Metro Manila was hit by a water crisis. Xavier School in San Juan developed a system that treats dirty wastewater so they can irrigate their football field. Monica Magpantay tells us the move not only lowered the school's water bill, it also helped teach young students how to preserve the environment. Do you mind reusing your own urine? How about the water that washed your urine down the drain? If you answered no, you belong to the majority of Filipinos who cannot overcome the stigma that comes with recycling wastewater for the daily grind. We were taught that urine is wasted. Um, I think, you know, really wastewater recycling is psychological. If we take our mind off it, you shouldn't worry. If you're one of the non-believers, the kids at Xavier School in San Juan, especially those who frolic the football field, have been proving your wastewater myths wrong since November 2009. Xavier is the first academic institution in the Philippines to have its own wastewater recycling system. The students here do not seem to mind getting in contact with recycled wastewater. No issue, because the water that, that actually comes to them is equivalent to about deep well water. So you can actually play in it, you can, uh, you can get exposed to it, and it's not, it's not something that you should worry about. Uh, we guaranteed our water and we tested it, third-party testing, it's bacteria-free. The school has been using this thing for the last six months, no incident reported yet, uh, no, nobody gets sick. Uh, like I said, during summer it was used for irrigation. Some of the kids were playing while the, while the sprinklers were on, no issue. Nagagamit siya. This was made possible by the school's partner, Technotest Incorporated, which developed a system that collects water from drainages, drain pipes, and toilets from all over the school. Then, through a membrane based process, the system treats the water for reuse for irrigation of the football fields, general cleaning, and toilet flushing. This is similar to what Singapore uses to treat their wastewater for reuse and recycling. In other countries, recycled wastewater is already being used to irrigate crops and provide water supply for a community. We take all the waste of the school, uh, urine, any discharge water from washing, uh, all the wastewater, take it in. Uh, all, the only thing we do not get is the solid waste. And then once we take it in, it goes to the tanks. We do a chemical treatment. So inside this facility, there are three tanks here. The water that comes out is bacteria-free. Uh, it is safe for human contact already. Uh, and then once it gets cleaned out, we throw it to a collecting uh, tank, temporary. We, we then we pump it to the irrigation system of the football field. The water treated by Technotest is safe for human contact, which means you can wash your hands with it or use it for taking a bath. Human consumption, however, is a different story. We don't suggest it lang for human consumption uh, unless we do it through another process. But right now, human contact-wise, no issue. According to the school's website, the capital investment on the facility based on the projected savings in the monthly water bill should be recovered in 3.5 years. And cost benefits aside, the system underscores the school's commitment to conservation and eco-friendly habits. This is wa wastewater just an hour ago. Don't be afraid. It's all enough. You can, you can, you can drink from near now. And it's, it's, you will actually, if you, if you dare it, you wouldn't tell the difference. If I gave you a glass of water, drew it from here, and I gave you water you buy from the store, you will not know the difference. For its proponents, it's not too late for the Philippines to maximize this technology to its full potential. Monica Magpantay, ABS-CBN News. And if you want to watch an even longer